Hello, MechWarriors! How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing Solaris Showdown, the new DLC, and we got the Loader King. We have a roughneck, guys, and I'm very excited to get this thing on the road today, and I think it is arena time. So there are some pre-matches for the Solaris Championships. We need to qualify, and you know what? I kind of want to bring that beauty to the battlefield today. Before we do that, though, uh, we have a bit of stuff that we get from Cantina missions. Pretty poor, single heat sink, small laser stuff, a bit of career reputation. I mean, it's it's not great, so let's just skip that. I don't think that it's gonna come in handy, uh, but I want to get the money. So we can either kill some more ravens. Uh, why, is it, why does it say kill? Why does it not say destroy, by the way? Uh, or harasser units, and I think this is the easier one, so we're gonna take that. Alrighty, and um, yeah, I think... It is time to take a look at our battle max. So, um, last time our stalker got hit pretty hard and we lost the double heat sink. Ah. All right, click the repair button. Oh, um, by the way, thank you for the hint that there is a, a little note in the tooltip of how many of these things I should collect for the Cantina mission. So thank you for that. Very helpful comment. Uh, I like that, so uh, keep it up. It was very good. Um, yeah, let's go. Quickly repair everything. Do I want to change some builds? I think I want to definitely take a look at the Loader King, and we will probably also take a look at the King Crab and the Orion, but let's keep it short. Let's um, let's not over-optimize, because I believe these things are alright. So, here we are. We have a 65-ton mech. We have one double heat sink, that's pretty good. SRM4, medium rifle, burst fire, that's a new one. That thing actually has a rate of fire, I'm happy about that. Okay, so this might be a usable rifle, actually. Problem with the rifle before was that it was so slow and it took ages to actually get a shot out. Mm, maximum range still 450 meters. We got some auto cannon too. Rapid fire, 200 rounds per minute. One damage each. Oh, that's gonna be fun. We're gonna grind through, the, through that ammo in no time. Like in half a minute, this bin is empty. Oh, guys, we have to make a decision here. This is not a viable build at all. One SRM bin for the SRM. Ay, ay, ay. What, what are we doing with this thing? We also need to keep it somewhat cold. I guess... Yeah, I mean, armor is good at the very least. We're gonna drop the mediums. We probably have better ones. Or we go small laser. I mean, yeah. That is a close ranger anyways. And yes, I know, we have different tiers, but who cares about it? Is there something on the market, energy-wise? Eh, not really good. Uh, let me go up here while we're at it. I don't think that is good. But hey, we saved a bit of tonnage, and that's important. I really want to try these, but we need more ammunition, so give me, give me more. Ooh, got an Ultra 5 here. And more autocannon 2 rapid fire. Which are actually heavier than the medium rifle burst fire. That's pretty cool. Um, You know what? This could be a fun thing to play around with later. I'm gonna buy that thing. What I want is ammunition now. Give me some half tons as well. That's pretty good. Medium rifle ammo. It's 22 rounds only. What? We shoot 7.5 rounds per minute. Okay, so we got two minutes of like rapid fire. Uh, three minutes. Is that good enough? I feel like it's not. I think we have to drop a weapon system or two. It's probably not gonna be good enough. Get some ammo for this thing as well. Yeah, I think this guy, what it wants is just rifles. Very um, weight-efficient weapons. Huh, 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 huh. I'm, I'm torn. I'm really torn of what I want to do here, what I should do. At the same time, if we use this as our dual mech, we might not run into that problem. So um, the game should be over quite quickly. Let me go ahead and take half ton of SRM ammo instead of a full ton. And I will also take a half ton of... Let's make it another full ton of AC2 ammo. With that, we are good to go. But here's the thing. We have one more ton. How do we want to invest that? It might be another double heatsink so that we can sustain ourselves a little longer. Okay, we got the rifles and the, the autocannons to engage early, and in the close quarter scenario, we're gonna shoot SRMs and small lasers. I think that's gonna be it. Let's go. Armor is fine. Uh, yes, so there's that. We'll take a look at my friend, the Orion now. The base build is not bad at all. What I do think it is just... 
What do I think? It's too cold. It's too hot. Absolutely too hot. Um, you know, I think what we're gonna do is just upgrade these weapons to a higher tier. And you know, I I'm gonna drop the SRM. I think this is a mid-range fire support, uh, and we give it just that amount of ammunition. We are good in terms of armor. That's already pretty nice. Anything good on the market? Not really. We cannot upgrade our lasers currently. So Auto Cannon 10, LRM 15, as well as um, three tons of cooling. That's how we do it. Uh, we got 16 single heat sinks, so we don't need anything more. So let's drop him right here in the engine. And then one more in the center torso. So this guy has a bit more sustain. That's okay. So definitely an upgrade to the mech. Now the King Crab. The King Crab is a curious one. Uh, man, this thing is so weird in terms of weapon loadout. Comes with all the single heat sinks. Yeah. Do we have another 15? A good 15? We have a decent LRM 20. All right, we're gonna give it a 20, we drop the laser. And I wonder if we should downgrade these outer cannons. As in making them actual like auto cannon fives instead of the 20s, because this gives us a bit more like raw burst. I do know that we have two Gauss rifles, but they're heavy, but they're cold. So that might be a thing that we want to play. Two tons of ammo for 20 is needed. I don't think we need that much heat management anymore. I think this is it. This is absolutely it. So, three tons of gauss. One and the two and a three. And a half. So, gauss ammo cannot explode, so we can put it anywhere. Actually, we should probably not put it in the center torso, because that, that thing is gonna get blasted all the time. Maxi armor. And call it a day? Question mark. I wish I had more room for another energy hub, like, thing here. But this is like a pure long-range king crab now. Which is good for it. It's absolutely good for it. Alrighty then. So, give it the weapon groups. It's solid. I'll take it. Maybe it's this way. Okay. So, my friends, we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and depart. Duncan Fisher here. Hey there, MechJog. Okay, I cannot do it. I can't. I'm not gonna. Glad to have you aboard. Uh, there were a ton of folks jumping at the bit to join me here on Hardcore. And let me tell you, I'm kind of a big deal. Besides the epic mech duels that go down, there's a whole movie scene just waiting to explode here. My charm and winning smile? They're like catnip to movie producers and clamoring for me to star in their flicks. But listen up, I ain't interested in being the next big movie star in the inner sphere. Not yet, anyway. No sir -y. No sir? Uh, I'm a mech warrior through and through. I worship all the legends. Kabul Hirsch, the legendary killer Grey Noton, and, of course, Justin Allard, who steered Noton's rifleman legend killer to beat Philip Cadet in Ishiyama. I aim to step into those same Solaris arenas and etch my name in the annals of history. Almost got there once, but then I had to hightail it out of Solaris for reasons I won't spill because it's personal and I just don't want to. In my experience, it's never good to reveal your secrets unless you can use them for your own personal gain. Apologies if I'm rambling on. Sometimes the words just leap out of my mouth without asking. Our top priority? Winning this team qualifying tournament or tourney in on Hardcore. And sure, winning back the affections of commentator Ava Masters will be a nice bonus. First up, we gotta tackle an opening gauntlet match. It's enough to rattle even the most seasoned mech jocks, but I reckon you got the chops for it. Admittedly, I didn't have time to vet you proper like Mainly because it slipped my mind after my last bender. But hey, going into a mech duel unprepared? Hmm. Uh, makes you one dangerous, unpredictable opponent. Our competitors won't know what hit him. So gear up, I'll see you in the arena. We are playing with Duncan? Really? Okay. Okay. That is a thing that I did not realize. <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, we're gonna lose so hard. Okay. So we are at Hardcore, 
And there is some stuff that we can probably take a look at. For example, some rare mechs. Honestly, I think a Crusader is a fantastic dual mech with all of these missile hard points and everything. That thing has some value. We probably want to grab one. Hunchback is also pretty decent. Rifleman is alright, but we have one already. And there's a Wolvie. It's a laser Wolvie. Eh. I think I'm going to say no. Quick check over here. Let's see what we got. We have more rapid fire auto cannons. Auto cannon 5 burst fire. But what I'm looking at here is an auto cannon 20 rapid fire. Interesting. Got some binary lasers. Sure. Trench blades. I am looking for... Oh, PPCX. These are the scatter shots PPCs. There's a tag as well. We got some double heat things that we should acquire. Why are they so cheap, by the way? I mean, I'll take him, but weird. Lots of rifle ammo and stuff, superchargers. Okay. Checking the barracks real quick. I want to see if there's any exceptional pilot here. There's not. So, yeah. Uh, I'd say. Let's go. Hardcore hurdles. All right, buddy, listen up. The gauntlet match is about to kick off and I need you to keep your cool. You got this. Don't doubt yourself or your abilities for a second. If we fail to win this tournament, we'll be denying Solaris the chance to witness the rise of the next great mech warrior. Me! <laughs> you know the fans are itching to live on the edge for their seats, or off their seats and chant Duncan Fisher's name. We gotta give him what they want. Who knows? Maybe these teams will just fold at the mere sight of me, ready to lay down and let me sprint back to Solaris. But in case they don't, and they actually put up a fight, get ready to bring the heat. <laughs> I'll be right there with you, soaking up every moment. I mean, sure, I'll fire a few laser blasts too, but now that I see you up close, I kinda get the feeling you won't need much help. <laughs> so fire away when we hit the arena. I won't feel like you are hogging all the action. My trusty Max showing its age, so not likely to catch its second wind anytime soon. Uh, took a nasty hit last go-round. Glitched out on me like a stubborn mule, but hey, optimism's the name of the game, right? And with you around to land a hand, I reckon we'll manage just fine. Let's chalk up and that mishap uh, to the things I'd rather not repeat column. In my book, ignoring troubles often makes them vanish quicker than a pilot's clothes after an ammo blast. Alright, enough talk. Strap in. And let's do this! Alright, Duncan. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be so bad. Alright, so... Our tarnage limit is 100. Can we actually salvage in the Solaris match? I mean, I'm gonna try at the Careful, very least. Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather. And your visibility on this mission will be compromised so, as well. So, you're saying I can bring my Atlas? I should, right? More armor and more firepower is good, and this thing has some decent weaponry. I say... I say we're gonna bring the big bad boy. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Lord of King will be on the battlefield today. It's time to party. Here we go. The qualifying tournament on Hardcore is about to kick off. The opening phase is a 2v2 gauntlet followed by a team free-for-all match. Let's go! The final team standing will punch their ticket to the FedCom Unification Tournament on Solaris. Running the gauntlet, we have Jake Mason and Duncan, the disappointing Fisher. Oh, oh come yeah, on. Got it in for you. Uh, romantic detour gone awry. <laughs> Mason and Fisher face a tough test right out of the gate. The Teal Twins have been taking the Magistracy of Konopis by storm with their winning ways. They've really been on a tear this recent what? circuit. What? Oh, oh my god. Like this. I had blurred vision thanks to a bottle of actin gin. Alright guys, these PPCs blind me. Uh, but yeah, we can probably get this Hanshi down, can we? We need to protect Duncan at all costs. One all right, we got one down. The match. I cannot believe what I am witnessing here. Oh, that's so cool, man. Believe it, baby. Take that side toss away. All right, we are in brawling range. We got him. Could be impacted after that strike. Let's see if that changes the complexion that's of bad. the match. That's bad. Oh. Oh my god. The teal twins are eliminated in stunning fashion. A twin killing. 
A twin Somehow, killing. Duncan Fisher's team has made it through the first round. <laughs> I'm shocked because Duncan never rises to the occasion. <laughs> Damn, sounds like you really got on her bad side. Yeah. Uh, she had the misfortune of meeting my intoxicated alter ego, Drunken Fisher. Drunken Fisher? <laughs> wow. These quips, man, these quips. So, yeah, we are supposed to protect Duncan Fisher at all costs. I don't know if I can throw enough DPS out there because he is shredding with the Warhammer, attracting a lot of fire. That is for sure. It seems like we have to sustain four rounds, huh? So that was the first, like, little arena type. Um, yeah, we're getting funneled into the next one. You can see the fatigue setting in. It's all about who wants it more now. Oh, wait, is that a repair bay? That is a repair bay. Mm, yeah, I guess we're gonna take it because it also refreshes our ammunition and it might come in handy. I don't know. Got eyes on the repair bay. Gonna patch myself up. I mean, if there's a repair bay after every fight, I think it's gonna be easy. But hey, we don't know what's coming. There might be, there will be more firepower on the battlefield. I wish I could put Duncan in there, but I have no control over him. He's not a landsmate, he's a random Round AI guy. About to commence. Standing in our challenger's way is the Invictus Stable, and they've lived up to their name. Losing a match is a rarity for these mech warriors. Jake Mason and Duncan Fisher are gonna be in some serious trouble here. I like this. That's cool. Cole and I are well acquainted. It strikes about as much fear in me as a plumber facing down a block toilet. I'm having second thoughts about accepting this offer, Commander. Yeah, me too. Me too, Rihanna. Uh, already on my third. I really do like that Commander Mason is a bit more vocal in this patch, in this DLC. Alright, here we go. We're gonna soften them up with our long range. Where are these fools? There they are. Oh, yeah, let's go. Ouchie. Ouchie, actually. Uh-huh. It seems like they are not taking as much damage as they should, by the way. The opposition just reduced their firepower. This could be a huge opening. All right, one, one down. down. One to go. But it's a duo. More shooting. Let's go. Where's the other guy? Probably also waiting for an ambush. Yeah, there he is. Victor. It's a victor. All right, we'll take cover for a second. Man, these scattershot PPCs. Super inaccurate, but I think they have really good DPS. Come on, right to the side torso. That was good. Team Invictus has been dispatched. A heavy favorite now history. Thing is, Duncan is getting wrecked. Another opponent falls to my auto cannon. An incredible personality. Don't take this the wrong way, pal, but uh you're a horrible shot. <laughs> this isn't a right way to take that. Oh, uh, so good, man. These quips are amazing. I like them. This is pure love. Absolutely fantastic. This man is all over himself, and I love it. I'm here for it. Is there... Yeah, there is another mech bay. Mmm, love it. Yes. Uh, I mean, repair bay. Advance to round number three. Have you got some wins under your belt? <laughs> Does a winning personality count? I think you've got your work cut out for you, Commander. No shit. So. Looks like these mech warriors are fighting underwater now. Underwater? I don't want to. I hate water levels. And we are already super slow. I mean, the good news the is... Continues. Heat is not so going to be a problem. Jake Mason and Duncan Fisher are still standing, defying all logic and reason. Is there water? Defying logic and reason is kind of my thing. But the path to victory mm. is about to get even harder. Stepping into the arena oh. is the forgotten foe. Dragon! And they're gonna oh no, I'm Duncan getting flanked. Fisher. I need to pull back. Yeah. He's taken in his previous matches. I mean, the good news is, one dragon is already down. What are you? All right. Let's hey, you're dangerous. First. That's what you are. He just took a vicious hit. Why is he not taking that much damage? Huge momentum swing. 
Okay, I'm hot now. I missed that shot. Big time. Time will tell, but this could be a huge momentum swing. Ah, let's go for it. Unbelievably, the forgotten foes have been knocked out of the match. The forgotten foes will never forget this loss or who defeated them. Oh, was good. They strutted in here like they had the match in the bag, but we proved too much. They could not overcome our mech dueling prowess. <laughs> Hey, Duncan, are you calling the match or is Ava? Why? You think I have a future in it? <laughs> Maybe I hang up my neural helmet for the last time. Yeah, right. Buddy, you won't have a future at all if you don't shut up and fight. All right, let's get into the last repair bay and uh, repair, restock and get into the last fight. So far, with our overwhelming firepower and our uh, exceptional armor, we could just face the enemy and just point blank shoot him and that's what an atlas is made for the, final round of the, gauntlet, oh, yeah. the married mech warriors the gold baras gold bara violent form of marriage therapy i am the bara here yeah. has a history of savage matches they've been known to employ some very dirty tactics that have crippled their opponents uh-huh tactics i'll take option b where that doesn't happen like tactics like running into my auto cannon fire and dying is that their tactic defeat gold barras in round four okay what do we have to put up with here assault max most we likely huh hey, it's a freaking alliance it's a big boy let's deal with this guy first and then let me try to headshot him actually they got yeah i mean we got auto cannons we got missiles uh, I don't have... Actually? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's one I do have battle now. fists. Duncan? Well, looks like we've no! Really split them up. What the hell are you doing? Part, my ass. Oh, God. Oh, Duncan. Connect with a massive blow. Oh, this no. Could really shift the momentum. Come on. I want to I wanna get in front of you, my friend. This could prove to be a huge and auto cannon. Their weapon systems just suffered a huge blow. That was what close. Turn of events. The gold bars are no longer standing. Yeah, because I'm platinum well, bara. Hope they weren't married to winning. <laughs> the gauntlet match has come to a stunning end, and somehow Jake Mason and Duncan Fisher have emerged victorious. In just a moment, they'll compete for a team free-for-all match. Cool. Another chapter in the ballad of Duncan Fisher is in the books. <laughs> we got through that, but don't get cocky. Still a lot of work to do. All right, all right. I already am in love with that. That is a pretty cool thing here. I like like the storyline and the dynamics and the like the feel of it. And, and yes, we have 21 picks, so we could technically take that dragon and get the PPC X and the medium laser short burst. That is not a bad thing to get, actually. I am here for it. Let's go. I want to check this PPC out. And we also got some decent other things. Hmm. LBX ammo. I don't really care about that too much. Mm, it's tier 3 weapons, but which one do we take? I think a 15 is good here. And I'll take an SRM as well as the SRM4. Yeah, that looks alright. Let's go. Cool. So, here we are. You're tearing up the competition, tearing up the, tearing and tearing up the competition out there. I'm gonna toss some sweet firepower your way that'll help you blow the competition right off the, out of the arena. You're welcome. Just keep doing what you're doing, buddy. I knew I found someone almost as awesome as me. My eye for talent is almost as good as my eye for beautiful women. Those other mech warriors think they're the bee's knees strutting around like they they own the place. Well, it's time to show them who's boss. Let's keep raining destruction down on them until they're begging for mercy. They won't know what hit them. And hey, once we've mopped up the floor with these sorry excuses for pilots, it's time to kick back and relax. Sure, hardcore might not have the glitz and glamour of Solaris, but it's got its own charm. Well, uh, we'll find a decent dive, knock back a few stiff drinks and pretend we're living it up at the Valhalla Club. Who knows, maybe this time we won't rack up quite as many unpaid taps. Cheers to that! Oh, we get some of these peeps. That's pretty good. Tier 5 as well. Got medium rifle burst fire as well. Ooh, that's good. 
But they are medium sized, they wouldn't fit in our small arm hard points of the Loader King. And that's an Autocannon 10 Rapid Fire. Tier 5. Don't mind if I claim. Thank you. So, how do we go from here? Is another mission? Oh baby, those chumps bite a bit the dust. You are worth every sea bill, buddy. Some impressive teams are now residents in the loser circle, thanks to us. Putting on a show for the Ava Masters is just icing on the cake. But Ava's gonna have to wait, cause Solaris is calling me back. And my heart belongs to those famed arenas. And the Valhalla Club. <laughs> my time on Solaris got cut short before I could become the star I know I am. But eventually fate stops being a jerk and will let Nature takes the course. It's course. Okay. Uh, I'm scripting a tale that ends on Solaris and nothing's gonna stand in my way. Well, except for these final teams in this free fall match. Honestly, they should just throw in the towel and now and save us all some time. But nope. They're gonna drag us through the motions. So let's not play with our food and vaporize these pretenders. Then punch our golden ticket to Solaris. The Duncan Fisher comeback tour is on. Yes, Duncan. However... Let me go ahead and repair my stuff, because my battle mech got a little bit damaged. Also, PPCs. I want to test them. Alright, so we'll probably just drag this out of here. I am not even interested in that dragon. It's fine. We're gonna just take the peep with us and then sell the thing. Atlas repair. And yes, in order to use that PPC thing, we need large energy hard points, which we have on a Stalker, technically. Period. We have him on a Stalker. We could rebuild the Stalker. I'm here for it. Let's try it out. So, what are we doing? We're gonna drop these large, long-range missiles, because our long-range will now revolve around this... Firepower is going up. What's the heat? 4.3 per shot. That is a lot of heat. So yes, we need to cool this thing like crazy. Got some short range missiles here. Part of me wants to use all of these hard points. So let's drop the sixes. Bring them down to four. We got some on the market. Hmm. Difficult. These are stream SRMs, but they are tier... Th oh, wait, we have tier 1, tier 3. Yeah, 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 this is a mixed batch of missiles then. So two streams, two regular ones, both different tiers. And, um, yeah, lots of single heat sinks, huh? When we think about Solaris, I believe two tons of SRM ammo is absolutely fine for the missions that we are going on. I want to try these things. And I think we need way more cooling to get this guy going. So... Actually, this is the way. I like it. This looks like a stalker that I would run. Alright, start the work. 38 days. Again, it's a test. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. Alright, so here we go. Duncan. Oh, wait, actually, hold up. Oh, hold up. Just to make sure, we got... We got a pretty good... A pretty good... A rifle. Tier 5. Which I would prefer over to Tier 1, correct? Still checking out these uh, rapid fires. Okay. Okay, okay, just in case. So, in we go. Continue. Scrapyard, dusk. Hold your breath, buckle up. Climax of the Mech Mayhem, it's a grand finale. A free fall match. It's gonna decide who's worthy of duking it out in the upcoming FedCom Unification Tournament. Okay. Okay, we'll get the salvage because there's new stuff that we wanna get. We can bring 100 tons. <sighs> Doesn't make sense bringing the Loader King now as much as I want it. So I guess we're gonna check the stocks. Let's bring it. Check out these PPCs. Oh boy. I'm not sure if that's the right call, but hey. Wait, what? What was that? I thought I got everything already. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. I'm gonna go down here again. And here we go. This is 
a team free-for-all match to decide who will snag the opening team slot in the upcoming FedCom Unification Tournament, being held on Solaris on New Year's Eve. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the lasers. Heroic journey back to Solaris. Get your head in the fight. We can't talk our way through this. Where there is a will and sharp wits, there is a way. How have you stayed alive this long? I'm the hero of my okay. own story. Sorry. I can't die. Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Okay, oh, so that's the arena. For destruction. Teams from the Spawn Knights, Exterminators, and Demon Sharks look fierce. There's also the mudslingers to deal with. All right, let's Mason hug the wall and, and go around for one. That's a fire starter. Wait, what's going on here? They'll all be limp noodles strewn across the arena floor. Hey, head on a swivel. They're closing in from every direction. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, mama, it's like an a Orion. Don't let them bite you in the ass. It is an Orion. Do we need to protect? Oh, we need to protect Duncan. Oh. Okay, okay. Is he coming? Is he? Okay, 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 okay. So Duncan, would you please come with me? Oh, Duncan is... Duncan is pinned. He's not moving. I don't, I, I don't know why. Yo, buddy. You are my battle friend. New target, Hunchman. Okay. Okay, I'm getting shot at now. Duncan? You coming? A very serious blow. Duncan? Their ability to mount an offense is seriously compromised now. I mean, it's it's nice if you are protected back there, but a little bit of firepower would go a long way as well, huh? I I don't think he's going to come. Coward. Dude. Okay, okay, fine, be here, really protect yourself, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna ahead. fight, I wanna have some fun here. Blam! The heat buildup is actually quite okay. Yeah, that's the thing, I believe you could just Turret wait it out and do nothing. Which would most likely be the best way to finish that, that mission. Situation. Be extremely that opportunistic and wait for these fools to kill the themselves. Arena. We got one. We got one. Laser beams? Oh, we, I think we got their attention now. Their weapons just took a hit. Let's yeah. see if that shifts the momentum here. And All right. Intensity is ramping up as only this Orion has a supercharger, by the way, and he's running some peeps. Thing is, I don't want to get flanked, and I run a stalker, which is not known for its mobility. Try to get the leg of the trap. All right. Oh, here's a guy. Okay. Oh, these have these have DPS. PPCX, baby. Oh. Oh. Get wrecked. She means exterminated. Missiles? The exterminators Blap. This oh, this is fun. As heavy this favorites. is fun. Now this competition okay, is this is the last guy. Open. We're headed for an exciting finish here. You can feel the intensity pulsing through the arena out there. The intensity! Oh. How did this happen? The demon sharks are taken out. Unbelievable. Meh. Um... It appears all the sharks were good for were killing the waters. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. The spawn knights are eliminated. So technically good on paper. But what do I have to do here? Ah, I need to activate the power generator to get the mech bay to pop up. Gotcha. Um again, on paper, good idea. However, we could just wait it out. System offline. Mm. Yeah, I was fiddling around with Duncan for too long, I would say. What? Round two kicking. Oh, oh, it's round two. Okay, gotcha. There's there's more Angie to come. To finally be taken out of the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Not an Annie. For that or anything. 
Okay, okay, okay. And the fact that Duncan is stuck makes it, like, completely irrelevant what I'm doing here. Highlander. Blap. I do like the DPS nature of our... <laughs> oh, God. PPC. However, our accuracy with it is absolute garbage. It's Garbonzo. Blap. Actually? Get wrecked? This is good. This is like a hold the line and cover situation. I don't know, we got a kill. <laughs> this weapon is ridiculous. Gonna wear down the Highlander a little bit. Yeah. But I think he has a better setup. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. This match is dragging. Looks like these pilots are maxed out. Who's got the will to survive here? I don't know. I'm gonna try to survive. I, I don't want to face everybody at once. Ah, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea here. Yeah, let's try to take that side torso apart. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's on me. Okay, so we're gonna cool down a little bit, use cover, and then go blast him. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Here comes the next contender for my PPC blast. This thing has a crazy rate of fire. I think we should drop the medium lasers for better heat management and just call it. Um, by the way, I believe we are attracting all of these fools right now. Yeah, I think this is the ag oh, aggro system. Okay. Oh, what are you? Oh, yeah, it's like everybody on me now. God, this guy is fast. We need to lag him. Also, my center torso armor is not looking oh, particularly great anymore. Holy crap! The shotgun peeps, man. Thing. That's amazing. That's really good. Could also be that the Phoenix Hawk lagged himself by landing uh, very unsoftly. Like you. And oh, yes. Yeah, he's still standing. standing and thriving. If you know what I mean, huh? There's another guy. It's the rifleman right next to me. I know. No, it's Annie. Holy crap! Focus. We actually need to win first. All right, he's gonna go out with a blast. Are eliminated. This match is really taking some crazy twists and turns. Side also. Who did Duncan pay off to win this match? I wonder. Seriously. Ah, that's a direct hit. The purple cobras just went down. All right, we, we actually got some kills here. We attracted it's some fire. We were over. active in this. That was that was better than the first round. My prayers. Cool. They've taken the open spot in the upcoming FedCom Unification Tournament being held in Steiner Stadium on Solaris. Steiner Hopefully Stadium. That's where their dumb luck runs out. All right. So we're gonna pick some things, and you know what? I want to get these LBXs, but I also want these ERPPCs. I can only take one each if I do this. I want a pair. I do want a pair. Come on. AC5 Rapid Fire. That's a pretty good one. Good SRM4 as well. I'm gonna take that. Trying to optimize my my friend the Stalker. Because I believe it's a good one. Uh, and then I... Oh, double heat sinks. Double heat sinks, you say. Oh, this is tough. Do I not... Do I not take the peeps? Go LBX, one LBX, and also pick two of these double heat sinks, so I have a bit more sustain. We need that to be able to fire like all the time and not overheat. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do that. And like with one pick, we can bring uh, a medium laser short burst, I guess. All right, so did we lose a heat sink? I really hope not. But hey, there's Duncan Fisher again. Well, slap me with a coolant canister and call it a victory. You didn't do anything, Duncan. 
That was hardcore and intensely satisfying. The pressure of the moment was staring us in the face, and what did we do? Our autocannon said, we will not be denied. Boom, that's how legends are made. You, my friend, are clutch. No bum moves here. The boats, this bodes well for me finally taking Solaris by storm and claiming my rightful place amongst the great mech warriors who have graced the arenas. When all is said and done, mech fans will regard me like the legend killer Grey Noton. Justin Allard will be begging me for an autograph and asking me for tips. <laughs> <laughs> they might even end up renaming the arena after yours truly. But let's not forget you, my trusty companion. <laughs> it would have been a bit more tricky uh, without you on the team. As a token of my generosity, I'm throwing in a sweet bonus to keep you by my side to help me wreck up the winds. And once we hit the nearest watering hole in Solaris City, the first drink's on me. Then, of course, I'll graciously let you buy me a few rounds so we charge those systems buddy we need i need you and top shape for the tournament we just have a small pit stop to make a friend is hooking me up with a souped up mech that i'll allow that'll allow me to showcase my skills and snack glory in the fat gum unification tournament we are going are gonna ring the new year in style so that is a new mech we get a highlander a special variant that has an arena supercharger and the great sword Heavy Rifle Burst Fire. 8 on weapon. Pretty good DPS, I'd say. Yeah, and we get a million C bills. Alrighty, alrighty. But yeah, guys, I wanted to bring the Loader King as well. So what are we doing now? I think there's nothing here that I want anymore, so we can depart again. But hey, let me take... Ah, <laughs> a look at my Stalker. No. Uh, all for nothing here. Yeah, I really wonder, do we want to keep those medium lasers around, or do we not do that? The SRM is going to get replaced, that's for sure. Now we have two tier four. Kind of streamlining the build here. Well, well, well. I mean, the Stalker just works as is. These medium lasers are coming in clutch whenever we are... Are they? Should I replace them with heat sinks? It feels bad not... not using all of my slots, but a bunch of SRMs and two PPCs might be enough. I think this gives us more sustain. So, we're gonna bring single heat sinks. Yeah, feels bad losing them. But hey, let's go. The dragon is ready to be sold. I love it. It's a million sea bills. And then we got the Highlander Vest. Okay. It has some options. Ooh, also comes with doubles. That's pretty good. And it has the arena supercharge. We have to have a slot for it. We cannot just buy it and put it on a mech. Interesting. So yeah, this thing just goes straight forward to the enemy. With an assault greatsword. An autocannon 20. Rapid fire. And a bunch of SRM6s. It's two, ju two jump jets out of three. So I think the first thing is to... Uh, free up four tons. Do we have a good auto cannon 20? There's a regular. Regular 20 tier 4. Got the heavy rifle burst fire. I mean, that would be a way to get these burst fire rifles um, into a game. But let's be real. This is an 8 ton weapon. This is a 14 ton weapon. What are we doing with the tonnage? Not a lot, to be honest. Not a lot. This guy is kind of fine as is. We just need to upgrade those weapons for better weapons. And wasn't there like a like an autocannon 20 rapid fire? Oh, it's only tier 1. Yeah. Nye, 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 nye. Okay, whatever. We're gonna check this thing out. Let's go. Got three tons of ammo for it, which is good. One ton of SRM ammo. Could be good, could be not enough. Any good SRM 6s on the market? No, that's a big no. So that's an upgrade. On the medium laser side, we have the short burst now. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we have we have these assault thingies, assault katana, six tons, fifty-five damage. So I guess it just chops more often because the claymore is technically just better in terms of damage output. Katana has slightly more range. 
But what is, like, the the attack cooldown? I don't know. It doesn't say here. Guys, honestly, I, I really want to try this out. Uh, this, this needs to be done. So, do we keep the jumps? No. I'll give it another double heatsink so we have maximum sustain. Kabam. We got an armor? We kind of are. Alright. Start to work on that. We got a Highlander. Ah, Loader King, I want you on the battlefield. Ah, what are we doing with this? I don't know. Let's depart. So, we have Wayne Dyer. Greetings, Commander. Congratulations on securing your team's spot in the FedCom Unification Tournament. Your consistent success speaks volumes about your skill and determination. I can only imagine the caliber of competition you faced in the arena, and yet you still managed to emerge victorious. As you make your way towards Solaris, I feel it is my duty to shed light on the concerning development unfolding within the shadows of Solaris City. A group of ex mech warriors known as the Inglorious Outcasts Outca yeah, Outcast, has been causing disturbances behind the scenes. These individuals, scarred by the unforgiving brutality of the arena, are now seeking to send a message through, the vi through violent means. A recent defector from, the, from their ranks, often found drowning their sorrows in Solaris taverns, um, have provided some intriguing information. Though, carefully, so, though careful surveillance and clandestine eavesdropping, my sources have uncovered discussions of a potential attack during the upcoming tournament at Steiner Stadium. It seems that these disgruntled ex mech warriors, feeling marginalized and excluded, are planning to make a statement by disrupting the event. I will not reveal the identity of my employer on this. If the outcasts got wind of who is undermining them, they would face lethal consequences, and so would I, from both sides. They would, like, they would like to avoid making an enemy of such an unhinged group. Rest assured, I am actively pursuing further intelligence on this matter. As I gather more concrete details, I will ensure to keep you informed before the tournament commences in earnest. I'll be in touch. Uh, okay, so it's just like a, like a regular go find their spot and destroy them thing? downtown Solaris City. Moments ago, I caught up with Randall Logan, a member of the Inglorious Outcasts, the group suspected of commandeering the mech and setting it aflame. For years, the Solaris Games and others like it have offered great wealth and fame to countless victors. But they have also maimed or ended the lives of many others, all to the sound of cheers and applause. We call on those responsible. Blah, blah, blah. This sounds like boring nonsense. A big old nothing burger with extra cheese. Let's get down to business. Solaris, the holy grail of Mechdu. Yours truly finally makes a triumphant return to these legendary arenas. Citizens across Greyland and Equatus and the entire Inner Sphere will watch as I blow up. <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. Burning to death is not my idea of a good time. <laughs> But obliterating other mech warriors that are fighting in the Solaris arenas? Haha! <laughs> Count me in! Uh huh, that sounds fun. Buckle up, Solaris! Daddy's home! This is so over the top. And I think it fits. It, it really fits. Okay, that's pretty good, man. Alright! On we go. We have an updated objective. That's pretty good. And yes, we have we have arrived at Solaris. Our battle max to buy here. Oh, by the way, I should have maybe bought the Crusader. That was a good one. Uh, we got like Enforcer, Grasshopper, Quick Draw, and the Victor. None of these are particularly interesting. What do we find here? What do we find here? Mm, LRM 15 tier 4. LRM 20 tier 4. This is kind of okay, but not exciting. Black market countermeasures. I think you need a countermeasure slot as well to actually get this going. So, you know what? I'd say this is a perfect spot to actually make a cut here for today. Guys, that has been the current episode of Solaris Showdown, the Mech Warrior 5 DLC with Duncan Fisher. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>